guys. So here's the part where I'm going to need your help. Now that we got the top off, we're going to go ahead and take the back off again. Okay, so the motor is directly behind this unit here, which is what I want to take out of it today and just get everything else that's in here out. So to do that, we're going to look for any screws. We got a couple here, so let's go ahead and take those out. So that just let me take the dryer vent off, which gets me down to the motor. The lower here. To turn it around we're going to actually go from the inside to the motor. The thing I'm going to do is take this uh, wire off here. Just like that. Down under here, there's a bolt right there that I'm going to have to take off. This is when having a ratchet wrench would have been nice. Okay, there's a clip here. Looks like. Right, there we go. That clip just unclips, and I can pull the motor up. But it still doesn't want to release. Look at the flywheel in the back again. So I'm going to hold the flywheel in the back and I'm going to see if I can just spin this off. Alright guys, so I can't get the motor detached right now, but I don't need it apart right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it completely out. To do that, I'm going to take this middle panel here off.
All right, now I got the cone out. Now let's see if I can pull it out. Give it a little twist here. Oh. We got one clip I didn't get for the wires. We got the motor out. With all the wiring. I'm going to go put this away somewhere. Alright, so now we're just going to start putting it back together. Alright, so now we can separate the top. Alright guys, so here's the part where I'm going to need your help. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to put my pans on. I can put two on the top, like this, and I'm going to recess them in. on the top, they'll hang down to about here. The other option is actually to flip the dryer over onto its bottom, cut the holes in the bottom so that the exhaust here, which I'm going to put a, attach a pipe to for the actual exhaust, would be at the top. I think that's probably the better way to do it if I do it this way. I actually just noticed this as well. If I cut out the top, if I cut out the top, I could actually attach the pipe to this and have this be my exhaust. So I know the two pans will fit on top. I was a little nervous about that initially. Um, and the reason for doing this, I'll show you when I turn it around here. If I cut it out of the top, I'll have the door to load so that I can load the wood through and close the door. I'll have to put a new handle on it. It's actually, maybe not, because this is all metal on this side. I'll try it with the plastic and see what happens. Um, but I'll have the door to throw the wood in through. The other option would be to lay it down on its side and use the door this way to throw wood in and have the two pans up top. Pans would sink down to about here, so it would be closer to the fire. Probably wouldn't need as much wood. But anyway, what's your thoughts, guys? Go ahead and leave uh, comments 
down in the uh, comments box below. Let me know what you think, where I should put my holes for my two pans. All right, and remember, guys, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and do that, and click that bell so that you know when I upload my next videos, and you'll also know when the video of my decision on which way I'm going to make this goes. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.